Jaunty. Running down the lane. It's time for Ready Plays Plain Soul Hackers 2 with Jack and Tristan. Hi, Jack. Hello there. We're that was sne something. Sneaking up on a guy okay. after reviving protagonist. What the? <gasps> Arrow? Ah! I thought Kaburagi killed you. Did we get Damn it. Who's this? Friend of yours? He's a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. <gasps> after Milady. Oh, so a bad guy. He's a devil summoner from the <laughs> Phantom Thieves. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll have to put you down myself. Hey, this ponytail's my that dreads. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck did that come from? Then you'd better stay back. Don't worry, I catch on fast. Just watch my back, hey okay, tough guy. <laughs> Summoning weapons. Is that demon summoning program? Demon one. Oh no, she's dub stepping. Sick. That's right. pretty sick. I cut you with my knee on blade. No more screw ups. This time you're going to stay dead. I do love how- oh my god. I do love how 90s the battle music is a little bit. It's definitely got some old school energy to it. It's got that <coughs> bring <laughs> What? Damn it. Hey, what's the problem? I can't summon my demons. Excuse me, I'm waiting for your turn to finish so I can hit you. Oh boy. I see that his gun does the fucking um, fold out like a. What's that ridiculous sci fi enemy that I'm not seeing? Which one? Uh, where the guns fold out and disintegrate people. Oh, uh, fuck, I don't know. Is that the other cyberpunk one? Yeah. It's also depressing as far as I know. What? Oh, God, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. Sorry. You skipped the text. Anyway, yeah. They have fold out guns and they do fold out gun stuff and they make people sad. There you go. But I optimized your summoning program. I mean, I got to read it. I was fine. <laughs> I just put a virus on your gun. Oh no. We're fighting for our Let's roll. I see that you're fighting a cat. Thunder. From Cats, the movie. Oh no. <laughs> How is that? Okay, and that puts like a mark over them. Yes, so weaknesses in this one don't like the in SMT games usually, you know, you would get you get an extra turn if you hit their weaknesses. In Persona it's just that you you get more chances to knock them down so you can do the all-out attack. In this one, what it is is that if you hit a if you hit their weaknesses, the demon gets ready to do like a big all-out attack at the end of the turn no matter if all the enemies are knocked down. Okay. Let's give it a try. So in this case, yeah, if you hit, that's your, the stack is your marker for how many demons get to do a full at, full attack on them. Yeah. And this happens. All right. I get it now. So I briefly saw you do this sport. Oh, don't like his. Very upsetting looking. Cool. Yeah. So basically, hitting weaknesses means that you can like could do all out damage to everyone. Yeah. I didn't even know my demons could do that. Yay! Level up. Wow! Wow! It's cool. <laughs> hmm. Ringo. That was really weird. Why did he wait for my turn? <laughs> I think the reason you weren't able to summon anything on your own is because of the soul hack. Huh? Simply put, I took away your ability to be a person. Goodbye. Each of our souls were more or less welded together. It may be because of a difference in our ability, but no matter which way you look at it, I've got control over your demons now. And there's you're my little cuck bitch boy now. Oh no. No. There's a lot about soul hacking even I don't understand. For the time being, you'll just have to settle for some ion enhanced summoning. That's true. And on top of that, we'll be able to use more powerful techniques like Sabbaths. 
pluses do seem to outweigh the minuses here. Yes, I'll just have to get used to it. I'll happily take damage over being my own individual person. Oh no. <laughs> I was on a mission for Yadagarasu, and I wound up going undercover with He asked for Sprite when I went to McDonald's and I got him a Coke. <laughs> so just like that, my cover was blown. The Phantom Society. That summoner we just beat was one of theirs? Do they all have terrible haircuts? And their yes. Yadagarasu's sworn enemy. The Phantom Society is a secret organization of devil summoners. Just like Yadagarasu, where we- But they're full of edgelords and creeps. ...is our intentions. They want one thing, to see this world destroyed. You mean... Exactly. The end yeah. of the about is almost definitely linked to the Phantom Society. Things are starting to come together here Weird. in a pretty big way. Why do they want that? They can count ions Basically, they realize humanity is stagnating. They're like, let's do a reset. Sounds like we better hurry then. <sighs> It's the whole thing of like we can't we can't be uh, fucked to solve humanity's problems, so let's just fucking reset it. And see what happens. Yeah. Scree. Okay. Okay. You can now you have access to the menu. Yeah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Take that. Cats. This was for cats, you fucks! Why does Eldris Elba look like his skin color? Oh god. Good plan. Let's stay cautious. Eh. Okay. Ooh, that Ow. Out of my way. Thank god you can skip that now. Oh, that is handy. How do you capture a cat? Uh what actually happens is that when you get deem when you have demons in your party, rather than having treasure chests and shit, what happens is that your demons do basically they say that you, they do recon and they'll meet you at random spots on the map and they'll either give you treasure or they'll be like, hey, I found a demon that can help us. Okay. And you can do the negotiation that way. And also the negotiation is fucking simplified to all hell. Oh thank God. Where it's just like they just ask for something and then it's done. All right. And it's like, hey, do you hey can you give me money and you give them the money? It's like, great, I'll join you. As opposed to figure out this completely random fucking micro puzzle that doesn't have a solid answer. Basically, yes. Like one of them, the one that I don't like is the one that's like, hey, can you give me some of your health? And it's like, yeah, sure. And then they almost kill you. Great. It's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, buddy. I guess you can just use some potions or whatever, or whatever the yeah. equivalent is in this game. You can. Minions. Um, I love that movie. <laughs> no, in the bin with you. There you go. Demon Recon. They'll make discoveries connected to the stories or quests, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, that's now instead of treasure chests, they just pop around and be like, do you want some gold or some item? I'm like, okay, I like that. That sounds cool. Hmm, fair enough. <gasps> I've got a demon for you. I'm gonna join you guys. I want money. Okay, here's some money. Alright, I'm joining you now. Great. That was easy. <laughs> I see you've downloaded my body. Help. Help? <laughs> uh, good timing, help. Yes, alright. Um, Demons! Demons! We got Pixie. And, okay, so that's the wind demon, we got our ice demon, we got our lightning demon. Go. Cool. Sweet. All right, that makes things easy. Hooray. Wah. You got a shaman's mark. I'm guessing most of the time they don't just show up that regularly. Not really, no. It's, unfor it's unfortunate that this, like, this <clears throat> area is just a small, very, very small dungeon. Well, it's a tutorial, so fair enough. Yeah. So, like, unfortunately, yeah, they're just like, well, and also, you've only got, like, th two demons, so it's yeah. gonna just, it's gonna be the same one that pops, like, I found stuff! Sure you did. Yeah. 
Oh, baby. He's very sleepy. He's very sleepy. I like when they get weaker, they start glitching the fuck out. Hmm. It's very cool. Wow. Over already? The I'm overalls wearing... are ready. The overalls are very ready. Oh, shit. <gasps> Gimme! Cat! Hey! What's going on? I got a revival bead. Bye! Later, bitch. Oh. Oh, oh what the Okay. F Fuck it, I'll take it. Sure, that was weird. That was super weird. That again, small small area, limited demons. Eh. No! Lie down. <gasps> Cat and Spider-ish? Spider-ish? Ow. Eh. They're dead! So mean! How dare you do this to me! That's uh -oh. something. You played When you played Persona 5, how long did it take you to get used to the spell names? Um, not very long. Um, I don't really remember off the top of my head, but I've played enough. Yeah, the symbols were helpful enough to help you realize yeah. which was which. I I think when I played Persona Four, they didn't have the symbols originally, or like they didn't have a good like. It wasn't super clear. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, a good that would signpost. Be like. Remembering the difference between like the single target and the AOEs, after a while you get used to it and all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah. Like, what is it? Is it Ma that they've got or something at the front? If it's AOE, I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, Ma is yeah. Ma is AOE, and then um, Dine is if it's like super strong. Oh sorry, it's me or no me me meh because I'm thinking of media. Yeah. Which always confused me. I'm like, media is. What's that got to do with healing? I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah, when it gets to, like the high power one, it's like Mia Mia Doha Dorahan or some shit like yeah. that. It's like, oh god. And then you start getting like the fucking special personas that have their own special abilities, and you just get very silly. You start pulling in the ones from the previous games, like that cool UFO looking lady from Four. I think it's from Four. Which one's that one? I can't remember. I'll, I'll show Oh, the one that has like the satellite dish head. No. No? Oh wait, maybe. It m might just be the, the thing you did with your your hand confused me. Oh. That might be correct. Anyway, I'll I'll show you later. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, the the character personas were fun. Yeah. Although it definitely felt like cheating. That should work. Might as well test it. Actually, that's a good point. Hmm? Did the original Persona 5 have those? Like where you could unlock Personas from previous games? Yes. Okay. Although I think they also had DLC as well. Yeah, because I know Golden comes with the DLC sort of inbuilt. Yeah. So you have, like, weird easy access to the Super D Satans if you want them. Mm. It's like, I'll just go and download straight up fucking Baphomet or whatever. No, oh, that's right. I don't think it's that, but anyway. Some ridiculously powerful ones. Oh, that's right. Also, when you Sticks. when you level up um, demons all the way, they'll give you a gift, mm. and so that means that besides obviously having all the skills available, you also actually it's also incentives to like get them all the way because they usually give you things like this will power up your ability to use electric attacks. <clears throat> okay, so like a passive that you get for the end, filling them out. Yeah. Well, is it a passive that is always there regardless of whether they're it's equipped? Or... Okay. But it's still helpful. Like... Yeah. It's a thing that lets you customize yourself a bit more. Basically, yeah. That's actually how Xenoblade works. <laughs> I, I appreciate how customizable this game, like, the characters are. Hmm. Um, although it's very clear that the party has their set stats and set abilities it's better to use. Like, they have, a, I guess, a recommended spot that they should, a role they should fill. Essentially, yes. Like, Arrow is basically your ice slash healer guy, like, ice or support, and Ringo is very much, like, the attacker. Yeah. Like, because she's got good int, she's got decent strength, so it's like, she's better at just using demons for spells. 
Fair enough. And like, she's the one that uses like the almighty attacks, essentially. Okay, who was that equivalent in, for example, Persona Five? Uh, Persona Five, that was. Was that um, really one? There was. It was. I'm forgetting her name, unfortunately, at the moment. Biker Lady. Oh yeah, um, Queen. Yeah, Qu a, Queen. A, a, Queen. A Makoto. Makoto. Yes, I'm gonna Makoto. say yes. Makoto is my favorite of the fucking Persona Five cast. Oh, she's great. Well, because she's a fucking she. She's what? Unfortunately, she's what Arn should have been. Yeah. <laughs> she's like. Ugh. She's the only one that accepts the demon thing. Like accepts the well, demon thing really easily. Yeah, I'm sorry, I put myself into a weird position where it's just like, I, I don't think they handled, as a, we've complained before, I don't think they handled um, Anne's, Anne's story very well oh, at all. fuck no. Um, I want to stop they did... being sexually looked at. By the way, I'm going to be in a nude painting now. Well, it's like, yeah, because the, they tried to go along the gist of she sort of embraced being in control of it, mm. but it just didn't really work. No. Whereas, like, Makoto was like, Fuck, fuck this. Fuck this, I'm gonna beat the shit out of people and still be badass. Well, what, it's, it's like the whole thing yeah, like right. that. Was, yeah. yeah, she had like all the um, radi radiation or whatever it was. Yeah, she had the radiation skills. Nuclear, that's it. Yeah, that's the one. Um, I guess technically Joker, sort of, because he was neutral. Well, what was it? it was like, um, fucking, I'm trying to remember what it was. When she gets her demon, she's like, she's not even just like, yes, I accept it. It was like, get the fuck here now! And accepts it so hard, she breaks the tiles by stamping her foot oh, down. so good. It was like, yes, Super <laughs> Saiyan! Like, oh, yes, Queen. <laughs> Slay. Slay, Queen. Uh, oh, boy. Anyway. Um, Sorry, Persona 5 is a really good game, guys. It is it very we, solid. It, it <laughs> will not respect your time at all. Oh, but, goodness, no! Um... If you want to get through it, maybe just pick up a wiki for recommended sort of skill stuff. Melody. Oh, yeah, no, it's very much a game you play with a guide. Like, thankfully, the guides don't necessarily tell you the specifics of what's going to happen so much as just how to get through it smoothly. Um, <laughs> what is this, Team Shout or whatever it is? Oh, God. And I ain't afraid of no no-ghosts. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, you fucking serious? Rapper, baby! I hate this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm sipping tea! They call me Little Pinky, because <laughs> I've yo. got a tiny winky! <laughs> yo, yo, they call me Skinny Penis! <laughs> oh. oh, I hate this. Uh-huh. You did kill a person. Oh. This is interesting. <laughs> oh no, she's got she's got a ghost snake. No way. What? Whoa, whoa! Step off, homie! Phantom's gonna need all those covenants. Only way we can rain some hell down on the We need these MacGuffins! Oh, okay, that's a MacGuffin. I'm like, why is there a string laser worm in her? Yeah. Basically, because you're not gonna—I don't think you're gonna be able to see it in this in this part of the game. Basically, there are five of those things, and if you collect all five, you can summon the bad god. Okay. And so basically, we're on a we're on a quest to try and stop the bad guys from collecting all them, them all. All right. Humps. Here we go. Careful, Ringo. That swagger's not a front. He's tough. He's really got a skinny penis. <laughs> He's really feeling it. Oh, that was good, actually. That last little bit. Look, I... Rapping in Japanese never sounds good, so at yeah. least I appreciate in the dub they tried to give it a go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't sound good to us, I suppose. So maybe not. I don't know enough about okay. rapping or fucking Japanese to really be able to judge either way. I just know that this character is dumb. Yes, the answer <laughs> is correct. me. That is correct, Jack. Homps. It's time for Bicorn. 
the status effect things always took ages for me to figure out. Oh fuck, they are annoying as hell. Because they don't, because they all have the same fucking symbol. Yeah, you're just like, alright, what the fuck is this one? What's this is... this one? Rakata garage ra 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 Ah, and this one's Shiggly Wiggly. That, that gives me 13 seconds to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Only 13, though. Oh, of course. Ow. Shit. Got the skills for the kills, cause they're genuine. Get what you get when you stop the landline. Yeah, I'm the payoff, and you're the punchline. We gotta, right. we gotta make him say something that rhymes with orange. <laughs> oh, fuck. Borange. Ah, uh, power charge. <laughs> Classic. My name's Dracula. Rhyme that, bitch. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Ow. Shut up, Arrow. He just randomly says, Oh fuck, it's a drive-by! <laughs> oh no! Danger zone. Danger zone? Oh, I forgot to block, whoops. Yeah, I did mention that. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Well, it's not, but it's fine. What's buzzing? Uh, me from playing a good game. I just thought I heard something rattling. Oh, it's probably Tom upstairs. Oh, okay. He's, he's a wiggly boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to tell him that. Hello, I'm Tom, I'm wiggly. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. God damn it. Uh. Beastly fist. <laughs> All right. Stop telling all my moves. <laughs> oh, fuck's sakes. Fine, fuck off. Ow. Too many. Add a boy, bomb, ill, gramp, cream. Uh, sure. <laughs> what the fuck is that? But I can send you to hell. So face the music, RS, and take the L. Oh! <laughs> He's like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit, that rhyme is dope. <laughs> this isn't Swiggy. <laughs> Oh, you spat in my eye. <laughs> That's Swiggy. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Can you do that? Like if someone, like an enemy dies, like, oh my god, we just killed a person. And just <laughs> he just fucking says something like, oh, that's not Swifty. He's like, oh, I feel less bad now. Ringo, what is this thing? <laughs> it likes you. Mm, I'm a maybe the baddies won't. Maybe she won't be a baddie so much as. It's going into me. Like oh. uh, she'll just be used as like a, a weapon. Probably to steal her. Yeah, they're probably. Oh, definitely, she's become a MacGuffin. She's gonna get stolen. Oh yeah, obviously. Now that's gone into her. She basically is the. Um, what I don't it? like that the ends of it are rounded. It just no. makes it a little bit weirder. It does make it a little bit weirder. She becomes basically the navigator in this. So it's like, yeah, yeah. you're either gonna get kidnapped or out in a mission or something. Hmm. Or detecting any abnormalities at the moment. My chest feels a bit hot though. Bow wow. Well. No. <laughs> Phew. Please go into detail. My titties are spicy. My titties are spicy. That's where we put the hard drives. Oh no. But they're really old ones. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Fig. Are there a lot of your kind out there? There are only two like us. Ringo and I have the unique ability to directly intervene with human affairs. Don't look at my legs. <laughs> Are we too late to save Melody through normal means? Yes. By the time I arrived, she was already. Yeesh. Two soul hacks this quick, huh? Who'd have thought? Ringo? Who'd have thunk? You can't mean. Are you going to bring Melody back? Like you did with me? Like, she obviously said it's dangerous to do it regularly. Did they ever go into the specifics about how it is? How it's dangerous. Uh, they don't know what it does. They've they don't know what it'll do to their bodies. Okay. They don't know what the well. They've not done. They've not done it before. They know they can do it. They don't know what the side effects are. Okay. Which is why they're like, oh, we didn't realize it would take the ability to use like demons away from people. Cool. It'll be 
It essentially, from I'm not that far into the story. Like I've only gone a couple of story beats further than this. Mm -hmm. But like, it basically sounds like it essentially turns them into the into the person's minions if you soul hack them. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, that's not great. They are revenants. Can I ask you to do the same arrow? You walk too far away and they just collapse to the ground dead. Ha! <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I refuse to follow you. I changed my mind. Spell sequence, soul hack. Wee! Let me get to go through this again. I guess we'll end. Guys, after, stand after back. This. Yeah, guys, stand back. I'm gonna lip my finger and go inside a lady. Uh, Wait, what was that bit? You heard me. You heard me. I'm gonna give them a weird polygon chalk outline and go inside them. Call them a little bitch and then bring them back to life. I really should play Neon White. Yes, you should. The story's You're not You're just talking great. about calling someone a little bitch, or like, <laughs> that's like half the conversations in that game. It really is. The story's not great, but the gameplay's fun. The story is basically an afterthought. Yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah, it is. But it's, the... it's just there so that if you're playing it for the first time, you have a reason not to just click through it. Yeah, but, like, it's everything about that game, but the story is like, oh, this just gives me nice, like, Suda51 PS2 vibes. Oh, you've made me unsold on it. <laughs> Oh, like in terms of like the like the aesthetic. Yeah, I, I know. I have I've watched enough of it to to know that I would probably enjoy it. Complete. It was hilarious watching uh, Barry Barry Kramer stream it because uh, it's a speed runny fast game. Oh yeah, <laughs> and he was like, "I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this." In like ten seconds, he's like, "Oh, I like this. I'm a slither. I like bean. this a lot." <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the other uh, thing that points out why they don't shouldn't be doing soul hacking is because she keeps glitching out the more she does it. Ah, uh, she's not careful; she'll shatter her own soul. Well, that's the thing is like they do show that they do say also in one of the cuts, it's like if you go too deep in the memories, you can't get back out of it. Yeah. So don't get lost in those. But also, like they have a bit later on this where you know Ringo's just awesome. talking, and then sort of like, oh, I feel weird, and then she just it's fucking just falls over. <laughs> Oh no. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? It's like, oh yeah, no, she uh she's not doing great because one your souls are all fucked up because you died from and you had traumatic pasts. Alright. So it's fucking with her. So you're gonna But you'll fix them which will fix you. Yeah. Because we know how these fucking games work. You go into their psyche, speed up a bunch of demons, and then somehow mental health is better. Yeah. Yeah. Look, that it's not got it's not got the same like sensitivity as Psychonauts too, but it's got yeah. enough. <laughs> oh man, that was a good game. It was just nice in Psychonauts too. They immediately address this is a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah, please ask permission before you fuck with someone. Well, it's what the um the director. Yeah. Oh, is she the director? The teacher. Yeah. 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 She is the director. Yeah. Don't no. do that. <laughs> bad. It's very bad. I don't remember what she is. She's a teacher. She's like second in command. Yes. Because the guy in command is beard man. Yeah, and she's like, what the fuck? You, you there's so many bad reasons for what you did. And one, and you just did one of them. <laughs> you turned uh, a normal person into a gambling addict. And nearly fucked a whole lot of things up. But they also handle that side of things well. Like, he's a he's a child, and so far, doing that had actually worked for him. Yeah, it worked out like, well, because it just happened to be, like, helping him do his stuff. But, like, yeah, his old um, mentor guy, whose name I can never remember, the vaguely German one, mm. is like, this is a really bad thing you've done. Don't do that. Um... It was smart. That was a surprise. It was a very smart game. Hmm. I didn't. And you are. Relax, lady. <sighs> she gives me pain vibes. Oh yes, you will get that vibe the whole way through, and that's good because I like pain. Yes. <laughs> I've really got to sum this up quickly. I'm a super intelligent being. I'm here to stop the apocalypse. You're dead. I'm bringing you back to life. I'm smart and snarky. Uh, quick, I don't have enough char! Because it sounded to me like you had something you still needed to do. You were running away, 
Oh boy. You wanted to survive. What was so Oh the um the, the doctor lady in Persona 5. Survive. Oh yes. The goth doctor, the hot goth doctor. Hot goth doctor? Uh, Fuck yeah. Who experimented on children. <laughs> but more importantly Willingly, much, willingly willingly experimented on children. And much like pretty much every other character had a traumatic backstory to deal with. I liked that backstory. That was a fun one to resolve. Or like a pleasant one to resolve. I mean the entire thing with Persona Oh my god, she also doesn't have complete gloves, it's fucking me annoying! <laughs> Just you're gonna have to get used to it. It's so stupid! Anyway. Well, she's got, at least, like, they're just wrist warmers. Yeah, that's fine. It's a rolled down condom of a glove. No. <laughs> Please don't. I'm wearing my hand condoms. Oh. You mean gloves? No. Uh, but yeah, no, like, I did like... There's no such thing as a fingerless condom. That's That defines... That that's defines called a cock ring, Jack. No, shut up. <laughs> this is a bad ending to the episode. We should feel bad. Fair enough. Okay, last thing is, like, I like the Persona 5, all the Persona 5 characters, like... Hi, I've recently been fucked over by society, just like you. <laughs> yes. Hey, what do you want to? If I, if you help me, I'll give you skills. What kind of skills? Uh, the ability to play shogi really well, <laughs> to do basic things that every RPG already does. Oh my god. I've got cyber size. Are they like normal size? Yes, but they've got cool little glowy lines <laughs> in them. Oh, yeah, whatever. Dot dot dot! Oh, none Why did you just sigh? Because well, that's stupid. We might have to leave it here, but we're you can see where this is going. Oh, it's fine. She doesn't fight you. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, like, we can see where this uh, oh, yeah. story is going. I'm talking to the audience, not you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, I was going to say, should people pick up this game if they yes. like JRPGs? I would recommend it, yes. It's definitely... If you like SMT, you'll like... If you've played SMT4 recently, I, it might be a bit too similar. But if you want to play, like, a Persona-like that doesn't have the heaviness of SMT... If you played an Atlas game, you're probably going to find it palatable. Yeah, it'll definitely... It's definitely, like, one of the more upbeat uh, Shin Megami Tensei games. That's a relief, because there's a lot of depressing shit. Sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a positive spin on the depressing shit. Yeah! Push through the sadness. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, enjoy, enjoy some cyberpunk coastal apocalypse. Yeah, and, I mean, you get to look at... Uh, Ringo's butt for like every single scene. Wow, her coat really does just have a butt window, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean it's fashion. It's fashion. It's fine. I'm when I get the opportunity, I'm definitely to get like new clothes. I'm definitely trying to find one with left pants. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. That's gonna be definitely. De that's unfortunately. <laughs> There'll be a short shorts unlock. You're like, how are they shorter? How are they shorter than that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bye everyone. Bye. She starts wearing just a bikini. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. See ya.